What is going on, everybody? Welcome back. Today we're doing a little production. We're making a little something. I know I haven't been active on like any social medias or anything. I've honestly just been relaxing super hard. We're on break right now. I've been skiing every day, so I haven't really been doing much, but that's no excuse, baby. We're getting right back into it. The semester's starting. We're gonna do some big things. So today's video. So most of you may know me from like all my future bass remixes. That's what I usually do is focus on like future bass, trap, whatever. But as of recently, I've been really loving house music. Um, anything from Tech House, like the whole Dirty Bird label, Deep House, like Chami Mala, Future House, like Don Diablo. I love all that jazz. So today I'm going to teach you how to make a house banger um, from start to finish. What's up, ladies? <laughs> <laughs> so um, when making house music, your BPM is where you want to start. We want anything from like 120 to 130. So what we're going to do is go up to Ableton. Get the tempo slider and we're gonna move that down to 122 perfect now we're at 122 so our first step we're gonna start with a kick drum we need to create that boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats feeling so let's do that really quickly there we go quarter notes and we're gonna do one in every quarter note so two three four perfect and now we're just gonna duplicate that that's gonna be our kick. Now that we have our four to the floor kick pattern, we wanna lay in those claps. But this time, our clap's gonna hit on every two. So one, two, one, two. One, two. And if you notice, I picked a very short clap sample. When you have a sample that has a really short attack and release, it sounds louder. That's something I like to do with my claps. If they're not thick enough or if they don't have enough sustenance, we're gonna... Why did I use that word? We're gonna layer them. So I'm gonna find some other claps and then we'll go from there. We have our boots and we have our cats. We don't have our ints. So to fill that ints roll, we need a short closed hi-hat. The ints, ints, ints. So we're gonna find one of those and put it in there. And this is gonna hit on the off beat. So we're gonna throw it right here, right here, right here, and right here. Now let's hear it with everything. Maybe we can add more hats. Let's just fill out the drum pattern a little bit more. Okay, that loop has too much low end, so we're gonna get rid of that really quickly. So we just have the top. Let's duplicate this. And now we can start coming up with our baseline. I just loaded up a nice bass. It sounds like this. Now we're gonna fuck around and try to come up with a little melody. Perfect. I like that. And now I am going to quantitize these and then come back to you. We have a pretty groovy bass line, but I need something on top of that because right now it sounds too boring. Lite. So I just fixed the MIDI notes, um, put them all in time and made sure they sounded good. And then I'm also pitched them up 12 semitones, which is an octave, just cause it sounded better. And this is what it sounds like. I just added this LFO tool with uh, this curve. So anything in that black area, there's no sound every quarter note, and then everything else is full volume for the rest. So it gives it a little bit more of a swing. Let's hear that. Now I'm going to start um, structuring out the song so that we can um, have some sort of drop. We are going to go Von Deepa here. So, so I'm going to do a simple filtering technique here. I'm just going to bring it this up, automate this. So you can hear it now like that. So we're just automating what frequencies are playing. So we're going to start low. We're going to draw this in so I don't have to like 
use it, do it manually. One, two, three, four, boom, 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 perfect. Okay, so now we can throw some vocals in and we need to think of something to say here. So I'm gonna plug in my mic and then we're gonna record some cool house vocals. Deep house vocals are generally sexual and have to do with drugs. So we have to think in that area. Fuck, what can we do? What can we do? What can we do? This may sound cringy. Okay, it will 100% sound really fucking cringy, but we're gonna say suck my toes. I'm ready to blow. Dude, that sounds so weird. Oh my god. Okay, whatever. We'll just record it in and then see what we get from there. Suck my toes, I'm about to blow. Suck my toes, I'm about to blow. Oh! Okay, we have our vocals, now let's do some vocal processing. EQ, take out the lows. OTT. Take out the lows, turn it down a bit. Let's get some compression. Pro C. And I'm just gonna go with the whatever, aggressive. Suck my toes, I'm about to blow. Ooh, that sounds sick. Let's do it. Suck my toes. Suck my toes, I'm about to blow. Suck my toes, I'm about to blow. Suck my toes, I'm a suck my toes, I'm a suck my toes, I'm about to blow. Haha, -ha, that's hilarious. And then let's add reverb. My toes, I'm about to blow. Suck my toes, I'm about to blow. Suck my toes, I'm about to blow. To blow. Oh, I just got an idea for the drop. So, this is a cool sound, but I don't want to bring it in just yet. So what we can do to make the drop sound cooler is do this. Add an auto filter and do that same thing we use for like the buildup. So we're filtering certain sounds and I'm going to bring that. Take out, let's take out those kicks there. To blow, 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 blow. Take out all of this. Blow, 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 blow. So what I'm doing right now is consolidating so I can create a pitch envelope on this John. Clip, transpedition, that um, has to do with the actual pitch of it, and we're gonna drop it 12. Blow, blow, blow. So for our intro, I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna keep the same melody because I'm lazy, but I just created this serum patch all as a sine wave with some effects. We got some hyper dimension to make it wide, some distortion to make it, oh, that's turned off. Chorus to make it sound cool and then some compression. So we're gonna use that same pattern from before and just like play with it. That's too low. Make them longer because there's a weird decay. Maybe this will fix it. Okay, that sounds a lot smoother, dope. And this one I want it down an octave to switch it up. How long have I been recording for? 51 minutes. I have nine minutes. I'm only trying to do this in an hour, so something quick. Let's just take this bass line and bring it up. Okay, envelope two is filtering the cutoff. Right now, our song, or this particular um, patch, has too much of a decay, so I'm gonna turn that down. That sounds cooler, it's a lot snappier. No. Suck my toes, I'm about to blow, 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 blow. 
Let's just listen to what all that sounds like together. That sounds pretty sick. I like that. It's super groovy. But that pretty much does it for the beat. I do want to mention in this video that I have a song dropping in a week. It is my uh, remix of Flume's Rushing Back. It's a house song. It's a fucking banger. So stream that when it comes out. It's dropping, like I said, in a week. semester gonna get really good grades and make a bunch of bangers in my bedroom and then just have a fun time I hope you guys continue to watch these videos throw a like throw a comment even if you're feeling a little uh, a little crazy hope everyone has a great day Uh, uh, uh.